Recently, I've uncovered a database online that is completely unprotected by any password or authentication measure that contains the voter registration records for the entire country of Mexico. Cyber expert Chris Vicker details how he came across over 130 gigabytes worth of files uploaded on a cloud service containing voter information for 93.4 million Mexican citizens. The file named Padron 2015 was uploaded on April 14th, containing information such as names, addresses, and dates of birth. Something that can be useful by virtual kidnappers who are really trying to get a whole bunch of information, any information they can, whether it's through social media or through daily leaks like this, that allow them to put on the theater that's required of virtual kidnapping. But then, of course, traditional kidnappings are uh, also a concern with information like this. The National Electoral Institute in Mexico confirmed such information and assured voters that an investigation is underway to find those responsible for the leak. Los datos ya no son accesibles a través de the data is no longer accessible online and there's no evidence to suggest there was an external interference into our database. Authorities speculate that a political party could have uploaded the file without the intent to distribute, something Reed considers to be the bigger issue. But political parties have access to the database records. Um, you know, cartels and you know those linked with kidnapping organizations are able to have their own political officials that are including with them. I think it's really important to take a look at how Mexican authorities are going to change the way they distribute this information.